Yes, and you lit the eyes so beautiful. Never have I seen anyone so lovely. Won't you give El Toro one little kiss, eh? <laughs> Why your lips are so cold? Come on, Toro, wake up before Chiquita slaps your face. That senorita was dreaming about Kit. She's out of this world. Yeah, they all are in dreams. <laughs> How did you find me here? I got a smell of that coffee, and luckily I did. Or I'd have gone on the whitewater and missed you. Two days I waited there for you. Oh, I was delayed by Governor Driscoll. We've had a change of orders. Something tells me we're not going fishing. Oh, yes, we are. For a kind of a fish we've never gone for before, and we're going south instead of north. These kind of fish live out of water. Land sharks, they call them. Land sharks, eh? To ensure legal ownership of all land grants, documentary evidence must be registered with the local land office to be duly recorded and validated in Washington. I still am not convinced this is the proper thing to do. Salvador, that's the only way you can protect yourself. But, but Mr. Barker, land grants could very easily go astray. If this should happen, we could prove nothing. Now I'm very much worried. My grant was sent to Washington three months ago. It returned. Pardon, senor, but have you asked about it at the land office? Si, senor. I told him I was leaving this morning to see what was causing the delay. This would be a very good thing to do, I think. De acuerdo. Forgive the intrusion, but I have a friend who may be able to help you. Uh -huh. To whom have I the honor? I would prefer to tell you in a place that is not so public. Eh bien, would you like to follow us to our hacienda? Con mucho gusto. Martinez get back this morning. Got to do something about a Prescott. He says he's going to Washington. Don't worry, he won't. We're watching him. But if it does, we're through. You know that, don't you? I said don't worry, didn't I? You go back to your land office. I'll drop by as soon as I find out anything definite. And when I tell my people that Governor Driscoll sent you and El Toro to help us, they will be very much encouraged. Had you not come, I think my father and I would have given up and returned to Mexico. By doing that, you'd lose this beautiful hacienda. To me, my land in California. That's very true, but at the same time, I hope your father won't leave. We need men like him in the United States. That is a very nice compliment. Gracias, senor. As we understand, most of your trouble around here has been caused by land jumpers and squatters. That is so, senor Carson. Our land is on what you call uh, a public domain because we did not build fences around it. But this foolishness. It is, El Toro. But when we tell these men that they have no right to the land that they have taken, trouble starts. As I recall, there is no law that prevents a man from protecting what belongs to him. We are new citizens of your country. We decide to live in peace. So rather than fight, some of our good friends have sold their Spanish grants to the Prescott Land Company. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they got a fair price. I have no way of knowing. I have not seen Senor uh, Martinez since he went away. I was told he went back to Mexico. Oh, that's very interesting. Do you know if they registered their Spanish grants with the land office before selling? See, they did. They wanted father to register his, but he did not. That is one of the things Senor Martinez will discuss in Washington. Tomorrow I will do it. Don't. Wait a couple of days until I've had a chance to look around. I'll keep in contact with you. Gracias, Senor Carson. You have been very kind. Quédense con Dios.
Take care of Martinez? Yeah. Just like you ordered. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm filing this grant deed. You pick up a report on the Salvador holding. Hi, Edwards. Surveys on the drawing table. Prescott's a good man to be hooked up with. Make a lot of money if he likes your work. He sort of hinted at that. This town always looks so restful. I hope it hasn't changed any. If this is your idea of a joke, it ain't funny. I found out the land belonged to Ricardo Salvador. But the land office maps don't show that. Maybe so. But the original Spanish grant held by Salvador does. Well, I'm going to keep this, but it isn't what we want. Where do you keep the printed forms that you use? What do you want them for? We'll fill them out to suit ourselves. I don't do business, I don't Get out of here! Hey, back to your head. Thanks for the help. I'm Gene Edwards. Me, I'm El Toro. This is Kit Carson. Well, I've heard a lot about you boys, and I'm mighty glad to meet you. Who was the athlete I just threw out? Name's Burgess. Works for Prescott. Oh, you said quite a bit about him in your report to Governor Driscoll. That report is why we are here. Oh, I see. Well, the sure way to get additional facts firsthand is to see Don Salvador. I'll take you out to his place. We've already been out there. Huh? Since you came out in the open against Prescott, we think you should take a little vacation. The fish, they're biting fine up north. We'll take care of the office while you're gone. Things might get a little rougher. <laughs> well, I know you boys like to work things your own way, so I'll take your advice. That's right. That way, we'll get to fishing a little sooner, eh, Kit? These belong to you. What can I do for you? I'd like a few minutes of your time if you're Prescott. I am. Oh, uh, sit down, Mr. Uh, uh, Carson. Mr. Carson? What's on your mind? The land situation in this part of the country. Let's talk about it. Why? Not very gabby, I am. Unless I have something to say, which means you haven't. That's right. Well, in that case, I'll have to get my information elsewhere. The land agent, perhaps. The government's records are open for anybody's inspection. I understand you own or claim to own most of the land around here. Mr. Carson, what I own or don't own isn't anybody's business. Figure you'll be able to hang on to that land when the land commission votes on the original grants? <laughs> what do you think? I was just wondering. Mr. Carson, are you trying to bribe me into giving you a job? That's an idea. I'll see you later. Oh, I wouldn't if I were you. You'd be just wasting your time. I couldn't think of a nicer part of the country to waste it in. You know, the climate around here isn't all as cracked up to be. Squalls come up quite suddenly. Thanks for the warning. I'll remember that. But you know, my memory hasn't been too good lately. Goodbye, Mr. Carson. Carson's a bad man to have against you. Well, uh, is there any chance of getting him to work with us? None. None at all. So I guess I'll just have to start one of those squalls I told him about in order to convince Don Salvador that 
Carson's being here would do him a bit of good. All right, remember. Now, this is your land, and don't let anybody run you off of it. We won't. to convince Salvador that the only way to protect himself is to register Spanish Grant. Unless he does, you'll never get his land. Oh, yes, I will. One way or the other. <laughs> oh. Instruct the trail boss to keep the herd on the move all night. All right. We should have these cattle in San Francisco in 15 days. <laughs> I'm glad this is the only job we have to do for Edwards. This surveying is hard work. What are you complaining about? George Washington did it. Well, if it's good enough for Mr. Washington, it's good enough for me. At least I, I can see nothing. I'm blind in both eyes. No, I'm not. I can see you. Toro, take the cap off the lens. Now, these things, I know nothing. Kit, I see cattle. Cattle? I thought Salvador owned all the cattle in this area. See, and they're heading north. That's funny. The slaughtering pens are south at Palos Verdes, and the hides are not sold until the fall. Let's hide these things and get over there. Salvador owned all the cattle in this area. Well, they don't own these. These are up from San Diego. It's pretty fresh for a drive like that. Aren't you going out of your way to snoop, Carson? He might be telling the truth, and he might not. Trail him, Toro. Let me know if you see or hear anything. Very pleasant. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. May I talk to your father? He's away at present. Some men have taken possession of our land in Rio Hondo. And he's going to run them off. He remember what you said about there being no American law to stop him doing that. Did he do wrong? No, legally he's within his rights, but I don't think they'll leave peaceably. Father is not himself. He's very worried because he does not hear from Don Martinez. I'll ride over there right away. By the way, has your father sold any cattle recently? No, none. What do you think you're doing? And what's going on here? I am having a fence which does not belong in my land removed. Your land? Rio Hande is part of the Salvadori Rancho. I am Ricardo Salvadori. Who you are means nothing to us. We paid good hard cash for this land. I am sorry, senor, you haven't swindled. Go on with your work. Well, if they do, who's going to get hurt? Black. <laughs> Tell these two men this was your land? See, si. They say they bought it, but this cannot be. I did not sell it. If you're telling the truth, which I doubt, you better get your money back from whoever you gave it to. Now get out of here, both of you. Gracias, Senor Carson. You come at a time when we need you most. That's why I'm here, sir. Only this morning I learned they had stolen some of my cattle from the rancho. El Toro is keeping an eye on them right now. Ah? I am amazed and grateful. Shall we return to the hacienda? Ah, oh, gracias, senor. I overheard them with my ears. Your cattle are being taken to San Francisco where they will be sold for beef by Prescott's men. For beef, El Toro? You must be mistaken. My cattle are being raised for hide. That's what I thought, but I overheard them with my own ears. Well, San Francisco has grown into a large city. Fresh beef is bringing a high price. Much more than for your hides. I will get my vaqueros and drive them to San Francisco myself. Uh, no hurry, sir. We'll clean up things here first. The cattle is safe and we'll pick them up later. Amigo, you are smart. Papa, I have some very bad news. Senor Martinez has been killed. How do you know this, Rosita? He was found by some men near Del Rio. One of them, Jose Gonzalez, recognized him. When he went to Senor Martinez's rancho, Senor Prescott's men would not let him in. Prescott's men? What are they doing there? They say Don Martinez sold his land grant to Senor Prescott. Oh, but this is not so. How do you know it is? I spoke to Senor Martinez before he went away. You remember, Rosita, you were there. See, si, I remember. I'm sorry about your friend, sir. But this is the break we've been waiting for. To prove Prescott did the shooting will not be easy, but we can prove he stole the cattle. I think Prescott has overstepped himself. You think? Well, I think too. I think it is time my father and I leave this country and go where we can live a quiet, peaceful life. Now, Rosita. I'm afraid, Papa. Not for myself, but for you. Well, there's no reason to be afraid. Your father's going to be all right, I'll guarantee that. How can you? Because your father will be where Prescott's men can't touch him in San Francisco waiting for his cattle. If you'll go, sir. I will go. Again, I must say, I do not understand. El Toro and I are going to stack the cards. I'm still afraid. Yeah, it looks like everything is all right, huh? Yeah. Oh. Ah, Senor Prescott, you are leaving? Well, not if you want to see me. Just you sit down, Senorita? Gracias. Well, what can I do for you? Right to the point, I will come, as you Americans say. 
If I can convince my father to sell his land grant, will you buy it? No. If he wants to sell, I see no reason why I shouldn't. I think he does. We have been talking about it. Well, of course, he'll have to register and clear his deed with the land office. That will be done. Then we have a deal. We must. Because I have a very special reason for wanting him to sell. What is a special reason? I do not want the same thing to happen to him that happened to Senor Martinez. He was very badly wounded. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know who did it? As yet, he has not been able to tell anyone. Where did it happen? Near the Rio. Jose Gonzalez found him. I'm talking to this cabana, just west of town. Is he still alive? See. Si. You have made me very happy, Senor Prescott. I will not keep you any longer. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, senorita. Look, I put two slugs in him. I bet my life that he's dead. Well, you're going to lose it unless we get to him before he talks. Well, if you hadn't filed that deed so quick, we'd still be in the clear. Come on, stupid. You get over the hut. I'll stay here and keep you covered. Get going. When you shot that dummy, Burgess. You convicted yourself of Martinez's murder. What are you talking about, Carson? Just what I said. And you and Bark are gonna hang as accessories of the crime. Oh, you're crazy. I just found out about it. What Burgess does is his own business. Just because he decides to shoot up a dummy is no sign you can pin it on me. Why, you dirty... Sure, I did it. I did it for Prescott. You were right all the time, Carson. The land agent was in with him. It was the senior agent that got us into this trap. Come on. So now we go to San Francisco to help your father and see that nothing happens to him. I am happy you are doing that. But you will return with him? Senorita, nothing could keep me away. What El Toro means is someday we hope to return. Adios, senorita. Goodbye. Adios, amigos. <laughs> 